the two presidents there, the presidents of Syria and Iran. I would like to thank my brother. I would like to thank my brother, the President, His Excellency, the President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, after giving me this high ranking award in the name of the Iranian people and of the Iranian government. And I feel proud for having received this award or this medal because this reflects the level of the relations, the level where the relations have reached between Iran and Syria on all issues, in all different issues and on all levels. And in Syria, we cannot forget we cannot forget the Iranian stances which were taken in the previous decades, especially ever since the Islamic Revolution under the leadership of the late Imam Khomeini. We, we don't forget Iran's stance when it exchanged and replaced the Israeli embassy and turned it into a Palestinian embassy, an embassy for Palestine. We also don't forget when the Iranians decided after the revolution, the Iranians decided to put Iran back in its natural stance, in its natural position in this region. I find and I feel that this medal and this award is an expressive appreciation because it's not only in the name of the government but in the name of Iranian people. This is an expression of the appreciation by the Iranian people because Syria stood side by side in support of Iran during many difficult periods. And during these periods many countries abandoned Iran and some of these countries even worked against Iran. And we cannot forget your stances today, your stances, the people and the government, your stances in support of the resistance in Palestine and in Lebanon. We can also not forget your stances in support of Gaza, which is under a siege. We cannot forget your support for the Arab causes and for the joint Muslim causes. And I believe that this medal and this award is an expression of appreciation because Syria stood side by side with those who were oppressed in Lebanon and in Gaza. These relations and the level of these relations which have been reflected by this award and by this gathering, this reflects a strategic relationship. Not because we made this decision, not because we decided for these relations to be strategic. However, because these relations are necessary relations for this region, the region of this Middle East. This strategic relationship is necessary for the independence and for the stability of the Middle East. These strategic relations are important for everyone, but they are not only for Iran and Syria and are not monopolized by Iran and Syria. We wish that all relations between the countries of the region are similar to the Iranian-Syrian relations. When we say that our relations are strategic and important for the Middle East, this does not mean that we monopolize these relations and we decide the future of such relations. All of these countries in the Middle East are important countries. However, the, the difference is that the alliance or the relations built between Iran and Syria are based upon the principle of independence and and will and independent decision making. This is what makes our relation or our ties unique. And the latest march towards independence in the Middle East, this will complete the relations or the ties which we begun with the late Imam Khomeini and with the President Bashar al-Assad, the late Syrian President Bashar Hafez al-Assad. And we will continue with this march as long as we possess the will. Once again, I would like to thank my brother, President Mahmoud I would like to express my thanks to all Iranian citizens who stood side by side with those who were oppressed in the Arab and Islamic region. And we would like to take this opportunity once again to stress that we will continue with these ties, we will continue to promote this relationship for the sake of the people of both countries and for the sake of, of 
the region. I also would uh, like to wish the Iranian people more growth and uh, more progress which will lead to more perseverance and this will in turn open the road for more independence and more stability and assalamu alaikum and thank you very much. I would like to ask uh, the respected president of the president of Islam for the Grand Akra Ahmadinejad to take the podium and deliver his speech. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام In the name of God the compassionate the merciful may peace and blessings of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad and his household وجعلنا من خير أنصاره وأبانه والمستشهدين بين يديه I would like to welcome Dr. Bashar al-Assad, the respected president of Syria. I would like to welcome His Excellency and His Entourage. We are two governments and two brotherly nations who are standing at the same front of the same position. Iran is your home. The government and people of Syria has been for decades that they have been present at the forefront of the front of resistance against expansionism and aggressions of the Zionist regime and other bullying powers. If it was not due to the resistance and the steadfastness of the people and government of Syria, no country in our region would have remained safe from the Zionist regime aggression, and there would be no sign left of the Palestinian resistance. Syria has done great contribution to Muslims, Arabs, and probably for human beings. The late Hafiz Assad, the, the late president of Syria, played a major role in safeguarding resistance at the time, at hard times. And despite all the pressure and threats, he, he was a steadfast and he was a source of inspiration for other regional nations and governments. And this very same procedure and approach was pursued during the time of my brother, His Excellency President Bashar al-Assad. This has been going on on a larger scale and more powerfully. The strategic and vital role of Syria at this time is clear to everyone. The constant threats against Syria on the part of the Zionist regime and its advocates on the international level speak of the unique role of Syria in the preservation of rights and defending the security of the regional people. Without a doubt, today Syria, alongside Lebanon and the Palestinian resistance, is a sign of resistance and bravery and is bearing the flag of uh, campaign against aggression and rendering assistance to the people in the region. And all this is thanks to the wise and prudent as well as brave uh, leadership of my brother uh, His Excellency Dr. Bashar al-Assad. Under Mr. Assad's leadership, Syria has taken strides toward uh, progress and perfection. Today, Syria, uh, in various fronts such as agriculture, irrigation in urban and rural areas, health, and hygiene, education, as well as industry, Syria has pulled up substantial successes. Today, the personality and the name of His Excellency Bashar al-Assad is known for all the Arab 
Islamic and also the regional people, especially uh, revolutionary youth. He is known as an as reputable and popular personality in this region. Fortunately, the all-sided relations of the two countries of Iran and Syria have always remained brotherly and friendly and on the increase and in the future too a further expansion of relations especially in tourism and commerce and investment will be seen our relations will set an example of brotherly and friendly as well as revolutionary ties in the region and on the international level. The, the economic capacities, cultural, political, and management potentialities of both countries stand at a level that regardless of the inefficient and discriminatory international borders, it can, it's able to provide security, peace, and justice in our region and play a major role to that end. We clinch the, the hands of all those who are committed to justice and they respect the sovereignty of nations, those who consider the presence of foreign forces that actually are the source of division and tyranny on on the regional people, those who do not approve of this and those who want the progress of the regional people. We shake hands with those. Part of the regional stability, real stability and security uh, is uh, dependent on end of occupation, repatriation of refugees and also recognition of the rule of the Palestinians, the people of uh, Iran, stands alongside all justice seekers and freedom lovers of the whole world, alongside Syria, Lebanon, and Palestine. That's where the Iranian people stand and they advocate the whole oppressed people in the region and the world. Respected audience, due to the belief and defending the rights of the Palestinian and, and the Lebanese and performing a major role in bringing about peace and tranquility in the regional countries and also to commemorate uh, determination to deal with the uh, regional issues and expansion of regional cooperation together with uh, strenuous efforts in further cementing and enhancing the two brotherly and friendly nations of Iran and Syria to thank this the highest uh, honorary order that is the first class order of the Islamic Republic of Iran that is the Grand National Order on behalf of the great nation of Iran, this order is granted to our brother, Dr. Bashar Assad, the respected president of the, Republic, the Arab Republic of Syria. The grant of this order is a token of appreciation, deep appreciation and gratitude for his services and the people and government the great nation of Syria. We wish you success, dignity, and pride of uh, President Ashwala said the people of Syria and all regional countries, especially the endeared people of Palestine and Lebanon. We ask God Almighty to give them and may be peace and blessings of God be to you all. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has left Tehran after a packed one-day visit alongside a high-level political and economic entourage. He held talks with leader of Iran's Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, and top Iranian officials. Ayatollah Khamenei called Iran and Syria a part of the regional axis of resistance and called relations between the two excellent. It's Assad's fifth visit during President Ahmadinejad's presidency alone. The two presidents have just wrapped up their morning session here at the Presidential Palace. At the top of the packed agenda, 
bilateral and regional issues. And of course, there's an international element to this as well. Western politicians will be looking closely at the developments. For example, Barack Obama, he's reached out to the Syrian president with the aim of putting distance between these two regional allies. Relations between the two countries have become one of the core alliances in the region and that's worried the United States. Washington wants Syria to distance itself from Iran and the Lebanese and Palestinian resistance movements. Assad's visit comes less than a week after U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton met Syrian Foreign Minister Walid al-Mu'allem in New York. Assad has met U.S. Middle East envoy George Mitchell as well. But the timing of Assad's visit could be crucial. Nouri al-Maliki is on the brink of becoming the next Prime Minister of Iraq after months of stalemate in the country's politics. President Ahmadinejad's trip to Lebanon is just around the corner and it comes just off the heels of the Palestinian Authority announcement that direct peace talks have reached nowhere. They will definitely have positive effects in Iraq. Both countries want to see the formation of the cabinet as soon as possible and this consensus will speed up the process. In Lebanon, their mutual understanding will definitely help ease tensions. But with Palestine, things are a bit different. Basically, Iran does not take the current Middle East talks seriously because Israel is acting against peace by building settlements. And Syria, despite considering talks as its main strategic policy, looks at the current talks as negative and thinks they won't lead to peace. In this visit, the Iranian president granted Assad the country's grand national order, Iran's highest national medal of honor. Ambassadors from the world's Muslim states as well as African and South American countries such as Brazil, Bolivia and Nicaragua were in attendance. I feel proud of receiving this medal because it reflects the level our relations have reached on all issues, on all levels. In Syria, we'll always remember the Iranian stance has taken over the past few decades. Iran's president also spoke about the brotherly relationship between the two countries. Fortunately, the all-sided relations between us have always been brotherly, friendly and on the increase. Our relationship can set an example of brotherly and friendly ties in the regional and international levels. Iran and Syria also signed two memoranda of understanding for industrial cooperation and free trade agreements. So it seems for now this relationship is not only staying strong, but growing stronger as well. Nagas Mualari, Press TV, Tehran.